Hello everyone, my name is Pravesh Sudha and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into an exciting real-time data streaming project where we will fetch live tweeters data, stream it using Apache Kafka, store it in Elasticsearch and visualize it in Kibana. Now this whole structure is containerized using Docker. So let's get started. So in this project, we will be using Apache Kafka for real-time data streaming, Zookeeper as a dependency to manage Kafka metadata, Twitter API to fetch real-time tweets, Elasticsearch to store and index tweets, Kibana to visualize the data, and Docker to containerize everything. And of course, we would be needing Python for Kafka producer and consumer script. So before we jump into the setup, let's quickly understand what Apache Kafka is. So Apache Kafka is a powerful distributed event streaming platform capable of handling trillions of events per day. It allows us to publish, subscribe, store, and process real-time data stream. It is widely used for building real-time data pipelines, event-driven architectures, and streaming analytics. It acts as a highly reliable message broker, helping us to decouple data, producer, and consumer. In our project, we will be using it to act as a bridge between the Twitter API, which produces the tweets, and Elasticsearch, which consume and store them. Now you might be wondering about what is Zookeeper and why do we need it? So Zookeeper is an open source service that manages and coordinate distributed system. In the context of Kafka, it manages metadata, which means it keeps track of Kafka brokers, topics, and partition. It handles broken failures that helps in leader election if a broker goes down. It provides coordination, ensuring synchronization across Kafka cluster. Essentially, Zookeeper makes Kafka more resilient, stable, especially in large-scale production environment. So now let's start the project by cloning the repository and navigating inside the project directory. But before that, the GitHub repo you are seeing on your screen contains all the commands related to this Twitter project. So I will leave the link of it in the description box for your ease. So we will copy these two command, paste it inside our terminal. This will clone the repo and we are inside the Twitter stream directory, which is our project. So now we will use Docker to run the Zookeeper, Kafka and um, Elasticsearch in Kibana container. So copy this command. Similarly, we will run the container for Kafka. Elasticsearch in Kibana. I have already downloaded these images, so it is not taking so much time for me. So now if we do docker, do docker ps, we see we have all the four containers running. Now we need to go to the Twitter developer portal to get the bidder token which is required in our producer.py file. Now click on the Twitter developer portal. This will take you to the developer portal of Twitter. So you need to have a Twitter account. So I have already logged into mine which is Pravesh Tweet. Click on the developer portal link. Now you are on the developer portal of Twitter. Go to the projects and app section. You already have a project created, but inside that you can create your own project. I have created mine, Pravesh Tweets. Click on that one. So go to the keys and token section. Here you can see we have a bearer token, which can authenticate request on the behalf of your developer app. Now click on generate. This will generate you this bearer token, copy it and paste it in your terminal so that you can access it later in time. Now we need to create a Kafka topic named Twitter stream. For that we will go inside the GitHub repo. Here we have the Kafka topic command. We'll copy it, paste it inside our terminal and this will create the Twitter stream topic. So now let's go to VS code for better visualization of this project's content. we have the producer.py file so in this file we are importing necessary library like 
Tweepy for the Twitter API, Kafka producer for sending data to Kafka, and JSON and Time for scheduling and formatting data. So below that, we have the bearer token that we generated. Now we need to replace it with the actual token we generated now. So let's do that. Firstly, we'll erase it. Now we'll copy this bearer token that we generated using Twitter API and paste it here. So below that we have initialized a Kafka producer connecting to local host 9092. The value serializer converts Python object into JSON before sending them to Kafka. So here we are using tweet client to authenticate our Twitter API. And this fetch tweet function search for tweets containing hashtag AI or hashtag tech excluding all, all the retweets. The tweets are then sent to Kafka under the Twitter stream topic. So now we have a while loop below that ensure that the scripts run every 30 seconds to fetch new tweets. Now we have a consumer.py file. So here we are importing Kafka consumer JSON and request and uh, we have the elastic source URL that, that serve as the endpoint where we'll store our tweets. So the Kafka consumer here subscribe to the Twitter stream topic, the auto offset reset we have specified to earliest and show that we read from the beginning of the stream if no previous offset is found. So below that we have this for loop that ensure that for every tweet consumed, we store it in elastic search using a post request. Now, before running these scripts, we need to ensure that we install the Kafka packages that we are importing in this file. For that, we would be creating a virtual environment. So go to your terminal, type in Python 3 or like Python, whichever you are using, PNV, Flask PNV, or you can give whatever you name. And then type source the name of the virtual environment you give like I have given flask env bin activate so this will activate the virtual environment now we will install Kafka Python Tweaky and 6 these three packages so use this command pip3 install Kafka Python and pip So now we have all the modules imported. So let's clear the screen for better view. So we have the, so we'll first use the python three producer.py file. So now before running that, we need to ensure that our python version is less than 3.10 because we have some cap compatibility issue with python 3.11 and higher. So my python version is 3.9.6 so i advise you to have less than 10 okay the python 3 command for producer.py file now you can see on your screen that we have the tweets related to ai and tech now we'll run on a new tab we'll firstly navigate to the projects directory and run python 3 consumer.py so now that our Kafka consumer can consume all the tweets that has the hashtag of AI and tech. So now we will use the curl command to see, uh, to verify that data is in the Elasticsearch. So let's curl this command, paste it and voila. You can see that all the tweets that have the hashtag of AI or tech are stored in Kafka, uh, are stored in Elasticsearch, sorry. So now uh, let's go to uh, localhost 5601 where we can visualize the tweets in Kibana. So let's search in Kibana, sorry, localhost 5601. Yeah, so here we have the Kibana dashboard. We'll go inside the management tools. So stack monitoring or stack management, right? So here we have Kivana index pattern, create index pattern. Now in the name we'll give Twitter 
and create the index pattern. Now we have the index pattern created. We'll go to the discover tab. And here we have all the data of the tweet shown to us. So you can see that we have like this tweet from the history of AI world is being written and the number are nothing short of legendary. So this concludes the project. So uh, as a bonus for this video, uh, if you like to do this project in a blog format, like you want to read documentation, I have written a blog about this project. You just need to go to go blog.praveshuddha and here you just need to search about Apache and here you have the blog. So I will provide you the link of this in the description box. So if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you try on this project, make sure to share this learning on LinkedIn and definitely tag me. You, uh, my username is Praveshwadam. So thanks again for watching.